yeah, I know. I just really thought you'd like it better that way. But you know the hard part? What's that? Just keeping the hat on. Yeah. Well, make sure it stays on. Indiana Jones never yeah. loses his hat. That's right. Ready to move on? Ready when you are. All right, let's come on down. Mitchell, check the gates. Uh, Trinity New Deal, five minutes. Let's go. You got it. All right, let's break the jumble set. We're moving to Cairo in five minutes, people. Cairo in five. All right. Well, welcome to Indiana Jones. That makes us spectacular. What did you think of that first scene? Yeah. And how about that huge boulder? That thing is unbelievably heavy. It takes at least 20 of our strongest technicians to actually roll that back into position. Okay. Uh, the other 18 are on the inside. <laughs> but seriously, that boulder is 400 pounds of rubber. Impressive. Well, hello everyone. My name is Trude. I am the assistant director of the second unit. The second unit shoots most of the stunts and action sequences for movies like Raiders of the Lost Ark. And today we're going to show you how stunt work on a second unit is actually created. Hey, boss. Yes, Trude. Hey, can I borrow any for a minute? Oh, we got work to do. Two minutes. Two minutes, all right? Two minutes. You got it. I promise, folks. Let me introduce you to one of our Harrison Ford stunt doubles. Please give it up for Craig. Great first scene. Very impressive. You're welcome. Um, looks really dangerous to me, though, so I have to ask you, how do you pull that off? You want me to tell them? Yeah. Okay. Um, I make it up as I go. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah, I cannot let you off that easy. You have to be a little bit nervous up there. A little bit. Come on. Yeah, of course. I'm taking too much credit. You're going to have to be crazy not to be at least a little bit scared. There really is a certain amount of risk and danger. Everything we do here, Trudy, if it wasn't for this incredible stunt you're watching my back, I would never attempt any of it. Here it really is all about teamwork. Teamwork! I love hearing that once again, Chris. Great job. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Speaking of teamwork, here comes our epic stunt team. So put those hands together! because it really helps to set the scene. It really brings the environment to life. And today, I'm going to be casting all of you, our audience, as our background voices. Now, our scenes have a lot of action. That means I need a lot of big reactions from all of you. So when you see a stunt happening back here or something really exciting, I want you to scream, I want you to hoot, holler, throw your kids in the air, but catch them on the way down. And really let them know that you liked it. Can you do that for us? I love it. We are going to get started now by capturing our first sound with the help of Clarence, our sound technician in the booth. And what I want you to do, my friends, is when I call action, I want you all to scream as though you were standing on a trap door. 
as though you were standing on a trap door. It opens and you plummet into a pit full of slimy, venomous snakes and action! Wow! Some of you were screaming from personal experience. Clarence, did we get that? Fantastic. Speaking of personal experience, raise your hands if you have ever seen an Indiana Jones film before. Nice and high. Let me see them. That is a lot of you, and I love that. So you know that those films have action, but they also have light-hearted moments. So for this next sound, I want to capture a nice, big, goofy belly laugh. And action! <laughs> Let's change it up. Let's giggle like chipmunks, like Chip and Dale. Action! <laughs> Nice, that last one we really didn't need it. That was more for me. But you are all fantastic, great job. Trudy, our audience and background talent are ready. Oh, there you are. Don't go hiding on me again. <laughs> all right, put your hands together for Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Y'all are fantastic. Thank you so much. Now it's time to meet my boss. Hey, Robert. Yes, sir. Hey, can I party for a minute? You're right there. Check your stunts. I want to get this in one. Let's go. Folks, let me introduce you to my stunt coordinator and second unit director, please give it up for Robert! Right. Okay, thank you, appreciate it, thank you, Drew. Uh, welcome to the set, it's a great morning to come out, beautiful day. Uh, we're shooting some very exciting stunt and action sequences, and I have to tell you, that's one of the great things about working on an Indiana Jones film, those action sequences. They're thrilling, they can often be very dangerous, but I think we can all agree they look terrific on film, right? Sit back and enjoy. It's good to see you. Speaking of film, true, let's talk camera work, okay? You got it, boss. All right. Um, pretty excited about this. We're going to use both camera A. It's going to uh, stand on the crane here in a minute. Okay. And then camera B on the dolly. Now, both of them are going to start wide. Shoot them wide, and then when it moves to camera A, shoot that at 36 frames per second instead of 24. Like we had discussed, that's for a slow motion effect for the high ball, high ball whip routine. Sure. Yeah, and then, uh, and then, boss, I was thinking that we would end with that camera B dolly shot for the kidnap. Do you have any particular uh, requirements for that? Yeah, that here shot comes here. camera A now. Yeah, since camera B has two tracking stops to the right, back to the left, when it hits that third mark, I want to go tighter on the truck, okay. make that a three-quarter shot. Okay. You got it. Yep. All right. Music to my ears, Chris. How do you feel about the changes I made to the whip sequence? I really like them. You, you're a pro. Let's put yeah. those in. Kelly, I want to talk to you and Chris. Hey, first of all, John. Yeah. Top of the scene, you're driving that truck in for me. Make sure you hit your mark. Very good, right, boss. All right, thank you. Kelly, Chris, begin to the scene. You're going to be casually shopping at the Cairo Marketplace here behind us. All very casual at first, and you both enter from around those close racks. Do you have any questions? No. Nope. So we go to one. Okay. True? Lock it down. Let's go. Place number one. Kelly, Chris, you both good? Thank you so much. Stunt team, we good? Thank you, David. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Good to go. Wide in the set. Roll cameras. Roll it. Speed. On the 16, 124. Apple, the Cairo, the Cairo, take one mark. Play that. Back up. And action!
that shot. Thank you. So as you can see, work with explosives can be one of the more dangerous, certainly one of the more unpredictable stunts that we do out here. And yes, there is risk involved in performing a stunt like that, but I want you to know that every fire effect, every explosion you see on my set today are carefully controlled by my team of professional technicians. Now you see them there in the booth, you see them around the set. How about a nice round of applause for the crew? A great crew, thank you. Appreciate that. Now they were close to the person on my set responsible for all these effects. I want you to meet him right now. Steve, a moment. This man responsible for bullet hits, fire effects, all the explosions you see on the set today. Special effects supervisor, demolitions expert, this is Steve. Hello. Oh, here's Steve. Great job with the truck, thank you. Uh, take a moment, Steve, tell our guests what it's like working with explosives. It's hot and it's loud. <laughs> okay, that's, there we go. All right. See, that is a good start. Do you have something else for us? Uh, that, you know what, now that you mentioned it, just like Robert said, the explosions and fire effects are performed in the safe control setting, and even the illusion of ricochets hitting the ground. Check this out. Just the blaster compressed there. you had something on him. Appreciate that, too. Now, with all that being said about fire effects, I bet you'd be surprised to learn that more stunt people actually get hurt doing what might appear to look like simple fight routines. It takes a lot of time, practice, coordination to really make it look like you're hitting someone. Just sell it, as we say. In fact, you know what? Instead of talking about let me show you. Let me give you a demonstration. We've got a new setup here. PK, let me see you, if you don't mind. Folks, I want to introduce you to one of the best fight performers I have on my team. This is PK. Pretty good to see you. Okay, I need a little demonstration. I need help though. Uh, Kelly, yeah. do you mind? Please? Yeah. PK, Kelly, I was talking to our guests here about some of the dangers of all of what we do every day, specifically fight routines, right? Mm -hmm. We got a little bit of time. I thought maybe we'd give a demonstration Ooh. with the two of you. Oh. All right? Oh. Kelly, all right. roll over yourself. All right, PK. PK. Yes. Should we just show them what we've been working on? Yeah, okay. yeah sorry. Right. So, in a fight routine, taking a punch, it's just as important as throwing one. Yeah. And now, as you can see, you can't get hurt if you don't have the right timing. PK, that is so good. Oh wow, they don't care. Um, So this takes gut and a oh. coordination oh. and a real level head. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Nice. Oh. 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 come on now. Fix this right now. Say something. Um. <laughs> so this kind of thing, it takes a lot of rehearsal. Or a lot of fight performance. You're right, boss, and we have a bunch of those. Yeah. Hey, no. John. No, Kelly, leave John alone. Over here, help PK up, get him on his feet. Okay. Uh, hey, PK. 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 Hey, Thank you, appreciate that. Let's get ready for the next scene. Thank you. Uh, the desert scene. The folks in this next scene, Indy and Mary, are trying to escape an enemy camp somewhere in the North African desert. You see the set revealing itself right now. Hey, John, come on up. This is where Indy comes face to face with a hard hitting mechanic, played by my stunt actor, this is John. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Guess the difference between a stunt actor like yourself, right? Stunt doubles, Chris Kelly, can you help out with that, please? Yeah, so um, like Robert said, I'm a stunt actor. That means I've actually been cast in an acting role on the show. It also, however, means that I still do all my own stunt, so I don't need a stunt double, which is what these two are. Just stunt doubles. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, well, it's just the stunt double. It's my job to make you believe that I'm Harrison Ford. Right, and that I'm Karen Allen. Some big stars like Harrison Ford or Karen Allen would prefer to do all of their own stunts, 
sometimes the risk of injury for that is just too great. The big star would get hurt that could shut down our entire production. Whereas if John got hurt, we just find somebody else. <laughs> Besides, if Harrison and I are doing our jobs correctly, even our old friends or family will have to tell us apart. All right, let's talk over a change. I'll make you please. Hey, Craig, you know the real difference between you and Harrison Ford? What's that? It's like $300 million. <laughs> All right, save for the scene. All right, here we go. Kelly, here's the change. It affects all of you. The soldier on the hill is Jake. He's going to fire down on you. You're going to panic, hit the controls, go in circles all like we rehearsed, right? I want to get in the yard, Chris. Okay. I want to get in the action between these two a little quicker. So it's on your first revolution. First time around, that's when you fall into your machine gun, okay. accidentally firing those rounds everywhere, okay? Accidentally, got it. All right. Well, listen, there's a lot of action out here. Stay sharp, get your marks, and be careful, okay? All right, call it, Drew. Place, please, places! Well, this last scene is the culmination of all the effects that you've seen so far. You know one thing is certain here, what you're about to watch will not be possible without the collective effort of the entire cast and crew working together as a team to get the shot and create what we like to call out here the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. Right, Jake? All right, here we go. All right, you're locked down. Place number one, Jake, good on the hill. Thank you so much. Steve, the facts? We're all set. Love it. Indy, Marion, good. Thank you so much. Cameras ready, boss? Cameras good. Right on the set. Roll cameras. Roll it. Speed. Call in the six scene three, Charlie, the desert flight. Take one, Mark. Right up. Action! the Indiana Jones show. Yay! We finally got to see the whole show. It is spectacular. It's not the same as it used to be though. Not the same as it used to be. They don't ask the audience participation like they used to but obviously with COVID and things like that they've had to change a few rules and things but still worth seeing. Definitely worth seeing. Definitely worth seeing really. If you love Indiana Jones, if you love stunts, they show you how exactly how you do it. Uh, all the film crew, it's just unbelievable. And I'm so glad that we actually got to see it all the way through without interruptions of any weather. So it's still perfect out here. Not a cloud in the sky. Nope, there is. So it's still hot though. Whew. Definitely hot. So we are just on to our next ride of the day. Um, we have to head to the main town theatre, should we say? It used to be the Chinese theatre, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's still called the Chinese theatre. Ah, still called the Chinese theatre. That's where we're heading to now. So, yeah. Oh, Minnie and Mickey the Runaway Railway. Woohoo, the railway! So these songs might get stuck in your head, but no, that's just the way it goes. So, we'll catch you guys later.